Today on Tease Time, we're going to see if we can get the bike <laughs> running today. It's been parked for uh, two years, so uh, that is today. Let's see if we can get this thing going. Hey, what's up, everyone? Welcome back to Tease Time. I'm TJ. Uh, today, I'm going to see if I can actually get this uh, bike that's been covered up, <laughs> collecting dust for uh, a good year and... 10, 11 months, almost two years. Uh, just kind of like with the, the van, I've been just daily in the pickup. But I want to see if I actually get this thing uh, running. Uh, I'm going to go ahead, get it uncovered. I'm actually going to do a proper intro of the bike. So uh, let me get going. Let me get un uncovered, get it into a spot where I can actually work on it, and we'll get this going. All right, here we go. It's a 1978. It's a Honda, it's a CB550. I call it white lightning because uh, you need to be drunk <laughs> to be uh, riding this thing uh, every day. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, don't drink and drive. Uh, why I call it white lightning, like what I just mentioned, uh, it is a little sketchy uh, if you don't really ride. Uh, it's an older bike, so uh, like the braking power, it isn't like the best for uh, what I was using it for because it's not geared. Uh, and it's not built for like highway, but like I was like daily riding this thing uh, going like 75, 65. Uh, it's mainly built to kind of just be cruising maybe around 55, but like it screams. It's a five speed. It screams on, high, on the highway speed, but like it kept pushing. It kept going. Uh, we do have like some head lift where it's like some oil leaks and stuff like that. Right there, as you can see, like the little paper towel uh, to catch the oil. Um... But yeah, it's definitely a bike you need to pay attention to. Like if you are riding it like daily or even just riding it in general, uh, it's a single uh, disc, single piston uh, brake set up on the front and it has a drum on the rear. Uh, the drum on the rear is uh, good at braking. Uh, the front single disc, single piston caliper is not the greatest, uh, but like it got the job done. It's carbureted, it uh, does have points. Uh, so, uh, when you are thinking of getting a bike uh fuel injection <laughs> can make your life a lot easier i've uh, been on the road on the side of the road numerous times with this uh just checking points and checking the gap and uh because it does come out it is uh let's say uh it loves getting maintenance uh it's not like the the most just uh hop on a ride kind of bike uh, like I wouldn't recommend this bike to somebody who doesn't really like work on stuff because like it, it'll force you to work on stuff uh, So the question right now is uh, will it run? Uh, so when I parked it, I uh, just did the fuel cut off. I turned that off, but like I didn't drain the bowls These are the bowls right here And all you have to do is unscrew this they have holes and you just drain that into like a bottle uh, You run it until like it stops running so you get all the fuel out uh, so with carbs uh, it could gum up the carbs. There's uh, jets in there. There's like these little uh, pilots and stuff like that that can get gummed up and cause this uh, not to run. Uh, so first thing I want to do, I want to actually uh, see if it'll drain uh, into a, like a, a plastic cup or something just to see if it, if I uh, have flow of fluids because then that's a good indication that uh, it's not gummed up. But like if nothing flows out of these, I'm going to say they're gummed up and I have to take the carbs off and uh, clean them out like i'm not going to try to like start it like right away like how it's been sitting i want to run through it and i'm going to change uh the oil i'm just gonna change the oil i'm gonna do the filter and we're gonna check fuel uh because when i did park it it was running uh so uh <laughs> it should run as long as the carbs aren't gummed up uh so we have a rainy day so i'm just gonna work on the bike get this thing out uh, running like I haven't ridden it in a while I know like the season's almost over but like at least we get like a ride in or something would be cool uh, but yeah like it contributed to the build and the process of the van so we're gonna do a homage to the to white lightning right here <laughs> a little sketchy definitely had some sketchy moments on this thing uh, but like it got the job done you know like the saddlebags uh, what I use for uh, grocery shopping you know, have water bottles, all types of stuff in those uh, saddlebags. I uh, added the little uh, diffuser just to kind of help kick wind over, stop the bugs. And like I have to go through because uh, as you see, like the speedometer stopped working. 
so it's like another thing like i need to go through and check and i just need to i need to go through it like it, it, it was asking <laughs> for some help like when i was riding because i was riding this thing like hard like every day and like it never it really left me stuck because i was prepared with like the extra the coil the the points and like the extra there's like these little uh, coil that like i had extras of like i, I carried with me in a a test light that you would need and like some little like some regular hand tool type stuff but like if you're prepared like it'll get you where you got to go but like the main thing was just like the ignition the ignition was like the the worst part of this uh the bike uh so if you can upgrade to a, like electronic ignition that'd be cool and then the next thing after that would be uh the carburetors uh being carbureted uh dealing with like rain and especially like when i got the bike they already had put these uh pod filters on so I added this piece of like Kydex just to kind of help block, but like when water and stuff like that, like I was riding this thing in the rain, like those filters get uh, plugged up with like uh, water and stuff. Like it, it runs like crap. Like I had to take the, like the filters off and stuff like that to make it to where I had to go. Uh, so uh, if it had the factory air box on there, that shouldn't be an issue. Like that should be fine. Uh, the main thing that will, like will kept me like from uh, like make it to where i needed to go was just uh like the, the ignition system so upgrade that if you plan on trying to ride an older vintage bike uh upgrade that i'll say like that and then if you can the front brakes um uh, like you you need to upgrade the brakes on it, especially like if you're going to be moving like on the highway like throughout town like you'll be fine but like if you're moving you know like you need to look ahead far ahead to like what's going on like if you're going to be braking or what or have a like an out or something because the stopping power on this isn't the greatest especially like when you're going like 75 it's not designed to be like <laughs> pushing it like that like it, the rpms go to like nine like it'll be sitting like screaming like right in here just like hanging out <laughs> all day like for like hour in the morning hour at night type deal like where i was working before so uh oh uh, let's show it a little love <laughs> let's get the oil changed and we'll deal with the fuel and see what's up so uh stay tuned enjoy See, there is some pitting around this oil filter housing, which probably should be uh, replaced. Uh, the O-ring sits further back, but uh, there could be a chance that this will leak. So uh, take that consideration if you change your oil, like make sure to check for pitting. all right so the bowls they uh there was some fuel flow uh that discoloration could be the fuel turning or even like rust in the tank um but uh i put a uh, ethanol free and when i did park it so uh that's a plus that keeps stuff from uh gumming up uh so we had the fuel flow through 
I'm gonna go ahead. I'm gonna try to start it to see what happens. Uh, yeah, worst case, uh, worst worst case scenario, it says no, it doesn't start, uh, and I just have to take the carbs off and uh, like redo it. But like, I should do a adjustment of the the chain, the cam chain, and uh, adjust like the points. Just check to make sure everything is like okay for firing. But I'm just gonna send it. I'm gonna turn the key and see what happens. If it doesn't, then I'll go through and adjust that stuff uh, that I just mentioned. So uh, cross your fingers. <laughs> Uh, and it's been sitting, so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna prime it, uh, the oil. Uh, it's oil cooled, there's no coolant or anything like that. Uh, but we have all this right here, you know, oil. I'm gonna turn it, we're gonna keep it off. See, it has the off and run. We're gonna keep it off, so it won't start. This is killing the ignition. Uh, so we're just gonna go until it turns off the oil light. Once the oil light cuts off, we have oil pressure. So that's oil pressure. So we have oil pressure. So now I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna try to run it and see if it starts. It runs <laughs> um yeah like uh it needs a little love there's like oil leaks and stuff like that um but yeah that was uh easier than i thought i was just thinking because it's been sitting so long uh it'll have trouble running but i think the key to this equation was the the ethanol free fuel uh stewards usually has that upstate new york uh so like the older bikes they don't really like the ethanol uh, so if you get the 91 and put it in these, uh, it breaks down slower also. And uh, the older bikes, they run a little better, but uh, it's running. Oh, well, it was running. So there's like some adjustments. That's your idle adjustment screw right there. 
Uh, and also just uh, keep in mind though, the fuel is old. Uh, so uh, I'm pleased where it's at right now. I was just, uh, yeah, I thought I'll have to go through like and deal with the cars, but like it actually is running pretty nice. I just ran through the rain a little bit uh, just to see if it ran. And I like, I had open throttle and it, it was pulling nice. Uh, it wasn't bucking or anything like that. So I'm pleased with that. Oh, um, but yeah, it's a, a 1978, it's a Honda CB550. CB uh, it does have the seat right here, uh, it's brat style. Uh, I got the bike, it was already previously like that. Uh, it came with the, the Pro Tapper, the handlebars. Um, when I got it, the, the front uh, caliper piston was seized, so I replaced that. And I did go through and do uh, piston rings and stuff like that when I originally got it. I just ran through it, but like, I, I, I've been riding this thing uh, pretty hard. Um, I'm surprised like it actually uh, has been keeping up with uh, me. Actually, let me just kill it. I'm surprised it's uh, been keeping up because like I haven't been uh, <laughs> babying it at all. Uh, like when I'm going, like wherever I'm going, like I, I drive it like, riding like a normal bike, you know? Like it is an old bike, it's a 78. Uh, it has potential like to be more, but like I just got it as like the daily beater, uh, old bike, you know? Like I just like different things. So I could have got like fuel injection and just, uh, you know, been done with it, not have to worry about it, but I don't know, I like to torture myself a little bit. Uh, but yeah, for that, and then we also have like these mirrors, nice blue tint. Uh, you get good visual on that, and it, like they don't overhang like the handlebars, uh, which I like, because I did have some before, like the, some clip-on ones that were at the end of the bars, but like it just stuck out like too long, like you have to get through like a narrow spot. I like the mirrors like that better, that don't overhang your uh, handlebars, because like you hit your handlebars, you can get tore up. But like, I don't want the mirrors to make me like mess up. Like if you get thrown off for some reason. Sure don't kill our bike. But uh, it also has like the, the tail light delete and everything like that. So it's a pretty fun bike to ride. Just uh, keep in mind, it, it doesn't like to stop too well. So uh, if you do have an older bike, just be aware of that. Like there are upgrades. I could do a GSXR, Jixxer, uh, like front fork and a uh, uh, caliper rotor combination on the front like that should definitely like help with like uh, the increase in like braking capacity and even just the suspension alone uh, but like I do have like in my mind I, I could build this but like I, I need to probably back off of the projects just worried about getting a van Percy the van built get that situated um, but yeah I'm just happy this runs so like, I'm gonna get this uh, inspected like I have this registered you know, it just needs to be, uh, it's insured. It just needs to be inspected. Like it's been sitting. So uh, I could do that and then take it out like for an actual run run. But like just throughout here with the rain and everything, like it felt, felt good. Like I'm pleased, check air pressure. And <laughs> yeah, but like I said, like if you're thinking about daily in this, um, just be prepared, like up, upgrade your ignition and uh, rain, like that little quick little run in the rain, not a big problem, not a big deal, but like if you're in it, like rain geared up, like I, I was rain geared up riding this thing. Um, there's kind of like a time limit before like the air filters, they get uh, clogged, they get uh, waterlogged and they'll start bucking, like you'll have problems with that. But like if you have a factory air box, that should probably take care of that. And then just for the ignition, do an electronic ignition upgrade uh, if you plan on trying to use this like as a daily or like a reliable bike. I think if you just upgrade the ignition, uh, that alone to electronic ignition, or even they have like a capacitor type ignition where it takes some of that uh, that hard spark off of the, the points and just uh, will make those last a little longer. Uh, but like that definitely needs to be upgraded if you're going to daily that and it just... Uh, you could do the suspension and the brakes, but uh, you don't have to, just pay attention. Like, if you're getting in it, like, you need to pay attention to just stopping distance, your following distance, and like having it out, like, especially like you don't cut the lane or anything like that. You need to focus when you're riding this. That's why it's called white lightning. <laughs> moonshine, you need to be drinking moonshine to be riding this, like, blowing it, you know, because like, it doesn't, like, top speed is about like 100-ish, I don't know, like it's not the fastest bike, but like I've, I've ridden faster bikes, but like this bike right here, you need to actually like pay attention a little bit more than uh, a faster bike than, yeah. But like this, pay attention. If you pay attention, it's fun. 
semi reliable like if you know how to adjust like the points and like the belt uh the chain tensioner needs to be adjusted the cam chain tensioner needs to be adjusted oil changes are about every um i believe every 1500 miles it's uh like every other you do your filter but like the oil needs to be drained like every 1500 miles like per the manual for this uh so like this is definitely like a maintenance uh bike so uh just pay attention to that it's air cooled it's not coolant cooled so like there's no fans so like it doesn't like to sit and just sit in traffic like you have to like go on the shoulder you have to cut the lane like it's air cooled like it's, don't leave it just sitting like you will overheat it it will get hot and then depending on like the condition of your pisser rings and stuff like the gaps will change like it's it hot like it'll probably start acting a little crazy um but like i haven't really had any problems with that like i had like stopped like of course like red lights and stuff like that but like if you're sitting sitting and it's hot outside like for a air cooled bike like it, it doesn't like to just sit in traffic so keep that in mind so it's air cooled it's uh carbureted and it also has points so uh all of those right there are factors you should consider like if you're gonna daily a bike so uh take that into consideration but yeah so uh until next wednesday <laughs> live on the edge let us drive fast take chances peace tj